Wally here, and welcome back to my Dragon Quest XI S for Nintendo Switch playthrough. Let's continue on. Let's keep on traveling. We have a, a journey to continue on. We have a have goals, you know? Let's, let's kind of backtrack a little bit. Is it just me, or do you get the feeling there's something funny going on up ahead? Let's follow that path to the cabin. So I guess we can't go back to fight some monsters. I wanted to to try to level up, but let's check out the cabin first before we continue on. Oh, look at that little doggy. Little, are you a nice dog? Oh no, you look kind of mean. Uh, get away! Get away, dog! No, sniff sniff, you just sniff me. I'm gonna break some pots while you sniff me, dog. I'm sorry if these were yours or your owners, but hey, uh... A starving traveler has to do what a starving traveler has to do. Who is inside here? Knock knock? Knock knock? Uh, like I said, a star starving traveler has to do what a starving traveler has to do. I'm just gonna steal as much as I can. Hopefully, I don't get caught. What is this chest about? No traps? No traps? All right. Found a recipe book called Economy of Scale. I know how to make scale shields and suits of scale armor. Awesome for my new forging. If you saw the last video, we have a forging bed that we can create items now, and that is so sweet. Uh, nothing really of importance in there. But we can bring up the... Here it is, the fun size forge. And craft things. Which I am happy about. I actually crafted something in between the last episode and this one. Somebody smash up the bridge? We're just gonna have to find another way. Let's take a look around. Alright. Maybe there is some sort of... Ladder? Or perhaps I can... Nope. I do have the dog following me though, so I guess that's cool. That's cool. Can I just do a jump? Uh, <laughs> a partial jump for sure. That thing scares me. Oh, it's a giant, probably one-eyed cyclops of some sort is what I'm guessing with a huge club. <laughs> I guess I'll go down this way. I just look at the map. Yeah, maybe this is it. The place where there is a explanation point. What are you about? The mark of Wally's hand is glowing. It seemed to be responding to the curiously shaped plant. Hold your hand out to it. If I say no, would you be mad at me? <sighs> Let's be brave. Let's challenge ourselves. Chop, chop, chop. Chop around the clock. One, two, three, look out, trees! Oh, a woodcutter's life is the life for me! <laughs> what in the world? I repaired the bridge only yesterday, and now some blighter's gone and destroyed it again! If I ever find out who did this, I swear I'll... You called? Tricky devil at your service! <laughs> I went to a lot of trouble to smash at this stupid bridge! I'm not about to let you fix it again! Here, get a load of my devilishly tricky shapeshift beam! <laughs> Cutter. The next minute, you're a smelly old dog. I'm a devilish genius. <laughs> now, what mischief shall I get up to next? Oh, so much trouble to cause so little time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, doggy. Stay. <laughs> Treasure chest. I think I've just hit upon my most devilish trick yet. Oh, now I'm feeling sorry for jacking this guy's stuff. He's a dog after all. What the heck just happened? You 
touch that plant and then I saw all this crazy stuff. You really expect me to believe that this mutt here is actually the woodcutter? Yeah, dude. Come on, Eric. Huh. There's never a dull moment with you around. I'm gladder every day I broke you out of jail. Thanks. Well, all I know for sure is that we're never going to get out of this forest until we get that bridge fixed. And if what we just saw was true, Rover here is the only one who can fix it. Why don't we find that chest and have a word with our mischievous friend? Let's head back the way we came and see if we missed it somewhere. Now we can go back the way we came. Alright. No, I will not hold out my hand. I don't need to see the cutscenes again. But uh, speaking of the cutscene, that surely was a filler episode. Or a filler quest out of Dragon Ball Z for sure. Like when they have just random character stories. But that tricky devil, it's uh, I like his voice. That was pretty cool. You remind me of the Cybermen from Dragon Ball Z if you ever watched that show. Cybermen. Alright, so we're gonna go back. We're going to just... Such beautiful water. I just love water in games. Anyway, we're gonna find the tricky devil. We're gonna beat him up. We're gonna take his lunch money. We're gonna figure out what's going on. But before we do, let's a lips appeared. You're not even... Not even a play on slug. Like slug lips. Like slips. Who else wants some? I don't think any, no one does, Eric. No one wants any. There's a, uh, there's a cow. Are you an enemy? Huh. So that cow knows stuff about the weather, huh? Good for it. Smart little cow. Alright, we're at the cliffside trail. What are we gonna find? Are we gonna find the tricky little devil up here? Because I have a freshly made bronze sword. This might be it though. This is the empty treasure chest. Maybe he's waiting for us. <laughs> here come my next victims. Oh, you're so wrong. You are so wrong. Introducing the one, the only tricky devil. You about to get beat. Uh, hi. Hey, you're supposed to be shocked by my devilish trickiness. No? Time for plan B then. Take this! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? The only thing I'm shocked by is how lame you are. What did you just do, oh, cheeky devil? Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you for my next trick. I'm gonna beat you to a pulp! And this is what I've been waiting for. This is what I've been waiting for. And I'm glad I kept my pet. Let's do like, this, this dude thinks he's, he has it. This dude thinks he has it in for us? He doesn't. Oh, that did a lot of damage. I just need to... Oh, Eric's no longer pepped up. Ah, nor am I. Okay, that's fine. I am going to go ahead and heal myself. I should probably heal Eric. Hopefully Eric's going to do some damage here. Yeah, let's get healing for both. And commence. Double teaming this tricky devil. Are oh, you about to die already? Dude, you talk so much crap. You turned our boy into a dog. You were hiding in a treasure chest for again who knows how long. What were you doing in there? Well, you know, I will give it to you, tricky devil. That is a lot of dedication just to sit inside there for a long, long time. I have a feeling that I'm going to die, or Eric's gonna die. Eric, please kill him. Oh, don't kill me though. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Ooh. Alright. That was close. 
That was very close. Man, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. I'm just... I'm just the cleric. And I'm about to run out of my MP anyway. Alright, I think it's finally time to maybe we look at those skill points to see what we can do. Hey! Hey, we did it. Tricky Devil is defeated. That was probably our first... It feels like our first real boss battle. Like, Awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use my eight skill points. Sure. The character builder is where you can use skill points to teach your party members new spells, abilities, improve their attributes. When you unlock a particular panel, the ones surrounding it will become available, expanding your options even further. Think carefully about what to unlock and work your way toward ultimate abilities. All right. So this is, I don't know, swords, great swords, sword mastery, and luminary. Hmm. You know what? I will do this probably off camera just because I'll take some time to look through. But uh, it's pretty cool. I Sure is tricky one. Hey there, you two. Oh, look, it's our pal the pooch. Not anymore. Thanks to you, I'm back to my old self. I'm Flint the woodcutter, by the way. Nice to meet you, Flint. I owe you more than words can possibly say. How can I ever repay you? I love introductions. <laughs> it's funny you should ask. We were hoping that some kind soul might fix that bridge the monster smashed up. It would be my pleasure. Why don't you go back to my cabin and put your feet up? I'll have it mended for you in no time flat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Much obliged. Thank you, Sir Flint. I'm glad you're back into human form. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but I'm happy to announce that the bridge is fixed. In fact, it's even sturdier than ever. I have no comparison, but I believe you, Flint. I'd never walked on this bridge in my life, so it does look pretty sturdy. You don't hang about, huh? Thanks. You've really helped us out. Now, young fellow, about this vision of me being turned into a dog you saw when you touched that glowing plant. The more I think about it, the more certain I am. What you experienced can only have been the guidance of Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil? Uh, does that mean anything to you? It's something my dear old granddad told me about when I was a boy. Yggdrasil is the giant floating tree at the center of our world, of course. The source of all life is some god. If the legends are to be believed, each one of its leaves represents a life, and its power preserves the peace and harmony of our realm. Okay. forest is actually a part of Yggdrasil, a piece of root poking through from beneath. It's said that the world tree can choose to communicate via her roots, but only with certain very special people. And that's what my granddad meant by the guidance of Yggdrasil. He was talking about just such visions as you saw. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. As a boy, I'd spend hours talking to the silly old thing. But did anything ever happen? Not a bit of it. But you, young man, you're different. You're one of the special ones, chosen by the world tree. And you've got great hair, too. Life just isn't fair. <laughs> So not only are you the luminary, you're also Yggdrasil's favorite little leaf, huh? Some guys have all the luck, I guess. 
Well, we can't stand around talking about how great you are forever. Come on. I'm glad we have Eric here to bring us, you know, down to earth. The Guidance of Yggdrasil. Awarding for witnessing a wondrous vision granted by the World Tree to only her best beloved. Flint, I know you're happy about being a human again. I'm glad uh, I can help you out with that. Okay, so we can talk to little leaves. Because, you know, that's that happens. That happens in this game. I'm not complaining. I enjoyed seeing that cutscene. Let's talk to Flint one more time before we head out. Alright, so if we... If we uh, get lost, he says, then we can find one of the roots and figure out what to do next. Oh, you've just been waiting over here? Oh! That's, that's, our, that's our boy! That I still don't have enough money because I haven't been really fighting anything. Let's go ahead and do that though. Let's make up for some lost, lost battling hat witches. They're just little like boars or pigs wearing hats. Okay. Good design in this game. Now you're pepped up. I could have used that. I could have used that against the tricky devil, man. That's okay. We'll save it. We'll save it when we need it. How much money do we get from the, the sham hat witches? 24 gold, not bad. What about you? You have a backpack? Or is that a cape? Ready for Halloween, my man? Dancing Devil. And he's exactly, exactly what his name says. I, good on you, Eric. One hit kill. Uh, same, some may call you the One Punch Man. I do like these sham hat witches. I don't think I can say that ten times fast. Sham hat witches, sham hat witches, sham hat witches, sham hat witches. I think I can. I think I can. I'll stop at three or four. <laughs> Man, knocked him so hard his hat fell off. Okay. Where's our little, where's our little fellow here? Don't want to get too turned around. Just got about 40 more gold. No, I think we're good. We'll save up. No need to just spend everything right now. Are we trying to get to the Heliodor region? For sure. Ugh, I can't pass up beating this with these little people though. I just imagine their life. They're just going around. Yeah, we're wild animals. We're just wearing hats. Like, that's all they are. They're not monsters. They are boars, pigs, and look like they look like baby versions of them at that. Yeah, you know, and then we just come up. We're gonna kill you. And we'll receive experience points. Uh, take your hide. And for some reason, you have gold. It's another weather cow. Alright, it is another weather cow. Good for you. So I believe we just take this route up. And uh, hopefully get to Cobblestone. Or are we trying to go and get the red orb first? Forgot what Eric told us to do. He's pretty much in charge here. Not gonna lie, he is in charge. And if only I could figure out how to use the map. What are you afraid of? What's going on over there? Is lips give is lips bothering you over here? That thing? Freaky lips. Let's path the Heliodor. Don't feel well like that's that's right, but we'll see. Maybe there's going to be we'll be back in the Heliodor before we get back in the cobblestone or Wait a minute. This seems so familiar. I think there was a guy blocking this earlier. Yeah! That's so cool. I really like how this world's connected. Because earlier on when I had my horse, which I totally forgot I had until right now, 
I did try to go that way. Alright, Cobblestone, Eric, here we come. We're gonna go back to my hometown. I'm just gonna let you know, Eric, I'm not leaving. I'm going to spend the night. Uh, I'm gonna ask Gemma and my dog Sandy to hang out with me. Probably we'll play some board games. Maybe we will uh, play, I don't know, cards, trades. You're free to stay. Uh, I'm gonna order pizza and call the night. And uh, that's it. That's the rest of the game. <laughs> it's so funny if a game like gave you that option. Just to stop doing your adventure at all. Wouldn't be much of a game then, huh? Kohan! Random girl. People I don't know. Mama? Eric, bear with me, but uh, I have a couple of things that I need to take care of first. Let's go surprise a couple of folk. Get to surprising my mama. Uh, oh. Of course, I cannot pass up shiny things on top of roofs. Jump, jump. Take that. Ah, old shirtless buff minotaur guy. Oh, have I missed you? This is our home, right? Hey, got it. Is Guess who's back? There? I'm cooking your favorite stew. It'll be ready any minute now. You'll be desperate to stuff your face as always, I'm sure. Well, set the table, and I'll just give it a last little stir. Who are you talking to? Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? What nonsense are you talking? My boy is six years old. What? Who do you think you are, waltzing in here and claiming to be someone you're not? Whoever you are, I want you out of my house this instant. Don't make me say it twice. Uh, what's going on here? Hmm. Something happened. Something bad. No. Time travel. I have no explanation for this. <laughs> but I'm very excited. I, I'm, I'm on the trail. Let's talk to Gemma. My headscarf, I'll never get back. I mean, the girl, we know who this is. That's Sandy. Thank you, mister. You're welcome, Gemma. We're best friends. We were born on the same day. All right. Uh, I don't know what bizarre world we 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 are in, but uh, let's 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 just follow Gemma, uh, little Gemma. Yes, I am. I am. You're just going way too slow for me. Let's speed it up, little girl. Sandy. Yeah, still you. I wish you two would have came with me. Oh, what if like cobblestone is some sort of town that's cursed and stuck in this time loop? But I shouldn't meet myself. That like goes against all time traveling. You're not supposed to meet yourself. Well, we'll find out. 
in about 30 years. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do this. Okay. Right now, what do you hey, think? Granddad, can I borrow your ladder? Oh, he speaks? The wind blew Gemma's scarf off and now it's stuck up a tree. <laughs> well, we can't be having that now, can we? Let me go and find it for you. Hmm? We don't need the ladder anymore. That nice man over there got my headscarf down for me. He said he was looking for you. Is he a friend of yours? Nope. I've never even seen him before. I think it might be me he's looking for, you know. Why don't you two run along and play and leave us grown-ups to talk? All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. It's... you. Isn't it? <laughs> I knew it. I've known you since you were a baby, after all. I knew it was you right away. But you don't look too happy, my lad. Care to tell you old granddad what's on your mind? I'm in a time warp. from a future where I'm no longer around. Well, well. And King Carnelian went and threw you in the dungeon. And to think I trusted that he'd do right by you. If I'd known how things were going to turn out, I would have told you everything instead of hiding the truth from you for all those years. But you don't have time to be listening to an old man's regrets. Here's what we're going to do. If you head east out of the village, you'll come to Cobblestone Falls, as you know. Go there and dig in front of the three-sided rock. Got that? Hmm? The three-sided rock at Cobblestone Falls. You'll know the one I mean. What a fine figure of a man you've become. I'm so glad I got to see you all grown up. You'll be good now, lad. Don't waste your time bearing grudges. Live life with love in your heart. You always saw me, right? Bye now. I don't know what just happened, and I'm wondering if Eric saw this too. I mean, the assumption is Eric is with us right now. How do we? How the heck do we time travel? I want me answers. I want me answers now. Okay. Well, I am hoping that after all this had just went down, after talking to my granddad's ghost at the docks. Perhaps, when I go back, Amber will then remember me. My mama will remember me, Gemma will be older, everything will be back to as normal as can be. Ah, uh, it says east of town, but it has a lock on it. I'm thinking Granddad faded, that means we're teleported back to the present? Gemma's headscarf back for her. Come back and play any time you like. <laughs> so I talked as a kid.
Am I about to pass out? Yep, I'm passing out. Someone give me water. Ooh, that was a close one. Are you okay? I lost you for a minute there. Not surprising, I guess. Ah, oh, I understand. It's the Igris draw. No. Oh, the king's men came and destroyed everything. I can't believe they do this. And just because you grew up here, what kind of animals are they? Jasper and his goons must have ridden straight here after you got thrown in the dungeons and torched the place. Hey, just now, when you zoned out, the mark on your hand was glowing, and so was the root wrapped around that tree. Was it another one of those visions? Wow. So you... you went back in time and spoke with your granddad and... and yourself? That is seriously weird. Must have been the root here. It must have the power to show you the past. Well, if what your granddad told you was right, then we need to head over to Cobblestone Falls. Where did you say it was? East of the village? Listen, I know this can't be easy, but hanging around here isn't going to do anybody any good. Come on. Man, that is some sad, sad news. I forgot all about the men coming here after we got tossed in prison. That's kind of somber, and I just hope... I really just hope that my mom, Gemma, Sandy, and, and the rest of the people got out in time. I really do. What? Uh, I can still rest. I mean... <laughs> and look at this cherry music! Alright, what do we have in here? Uh, recipe book. I'm now able to make Templars uniforms and say goodbye to the ghost. Is there any way to save? Oh, it's not like I'm making things worse. This place is already destroyed. <laughs> Might as well destroy a couple more pots. Nah, this really has me off balance right now. Like, I, this, this, look at this place. They just... Smashed it, and I'm gonna smash. I'm gonna smash their heads in. See, I'm mad. I heard a terrible rumor that this village was to be razed to the ground, and rushed from Heliodor to try to reason with the troops. He was too late. King Carnelian ordered that the entire place be destroyed for its role in raising the Darkspawn. That's me. But did the people of Cobblestone really deserve this? No, they didn't, sir. Seeing such terrible devastation, one wonders who the real sinners are. At least the troop did not destroy the church. That is something, and inside you will find a bed where a traveler may rest his weary bones. Now though this may look bleak, one may still find comfort in the age-old rituals. You are my save point, my good sir. Thank you for being here. Thank you for saving my adventures, because... I hate to say it, but this episode is going to end on, as I said, a somber note. Like, uh, we... We found Cobblestone. We finally came here. This is where I was looking, you know, looking for. This is where I wanted to stop by. I wanted to see my mom. I wanted to see Gemma. But, you know, we didn't really get what we wanted. We found that the town has been destroyed. and We're going to get them back. We're going to have vengeance. We're going to be revenging, revengeancing the town. <laughs> uh, and that's going to happen in the next episode. We're going to keep on going. We're going to head east from this town, and we're going to get to it. I mean, it does look like it's locked, but we're going to figure out what that's all about. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching 
this episode of my Dragon Quest XI playthrough. Hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble on and on. Thank you. And I'll see you in my next Dragon Quest XI uh, playthrough episode. <laughs>